Hi, Julie Torrens here. How are you? I've got some packaging. They're cereal boxes that I cut down. Um, are we going to use them both? Don't know. What are we doing? One of the things I see in comments and that I get in correspondence is what really do you do with the scraps? I don't save as many scraps as a lot of people do because I simply don't have the room to store them. But I've got my own little package of scraps and this package is uh, mostly paper, not cardboard, not, um, oh, wrapping paper. And, and there's nothing wrong with using things like Oh, wax papers and deli papers and all. I mean, I use that stuff and it is cool. But, and I just, I just pulled out some. But the thing is, you need a lot of different kinds of glues. And I'm just not, well, I don't feel it's necessary for me to get out the uh, gel medium to do this. I really don't want the end result to be that heavy. And when you start using gel medium, your project is going to get heavier. And, you know, that's part of why it holds so well. So, I, like I said, I've just got some scraps. Now, if you see some scraps that you sent me in a, in a swap or something, I hope I thanked you already. Because now that I've kind of sorted and separated out all of my scraps, I have... Uh, I, they're all mixed up, so I don't know who exactly sent me what. But this is the scraps that are paper and that are easy for me to collage with without needing gel medium. So I'm just tearing this up and I am just putting these on here. It's going to be kind of a Flipper McGee sort of a look. It's not going to be, oh, you know, all organized, but I don't want that. I am going to be careful because I don't want it to look chaotic. I don't want it to look confusing, but I do want it to look mm, unpredictable and interesting. And I want people maybe not to notice the background first, but to be able to, to tell that yeah, we've got some, some interesting stuff going on here. Now, this is coffee filter, and it's got some dye on it, some spray dyes. In one of my projects of just kind of, I've, I've got my little glue paper here. Um, one of my projects where I throw a bunch of paper scraps into a shoebox, and then I just hit it with all kinds of sprays and some acrylic paints for splashing and uh, maybe some metallics, all that. As you can see, I'm not, I'm not using just all rectangles and squares. I don't mind other shapes. And I'm right now I'm kind of looking for different colors. I seem to have a lot of blue and purple. That doesn't surprise me considering, I can, I'm gonna stop a second. I can see this is a PM Artist Studio uh, stencil or one of their stamps and it's called something like Atomic something, but uh, reminds me of Spirograph and it looks kind of cool. I hope you can see it. Isn't that fun? Now, did it come from them, maybe, or did it come from another pal? I, like I said, I mixed them all up. I believe I thanked everyone at some point for sending me things. So I'm getting them put to use. I'm using my Uhu glue stick, and I think that's fine for right now. When I use gel medium, for one thing, of course, it adds to the dry time. And, you know, anyone who does mixed media knows that there's always a lot of dry time involved. I think it's, I'm trying to think. I get this. This was in the front of a book that I harvested and it was 
who gave it and who they gave it to. Isn't that sweet? Um, I think it was Deacon, Mike Deacon, who said that uh, mixed media is something like 20% you work on your project and 80% of the time is, is dry time. There's some uh, truth to that. There really is. Those pieces that have what I call a hard edge, it's not torn. I, I like to sometimes just use those along the edges, although my edges, I didn't cut them yet with a paper cutter. I just cut them with scissors. So heaven only knows which way it's going to get trimmed, but uh, it will get trimmed. That's kind of got a, a little bit of a metallic sheen. That's kind of cool, isn't it? All right. I don't want, because, because I have such a variety, um, I don't want too much of the same thing in one spot. Now, this is magazine paper that I used leftover acrylics on, and then I did mark making on top. And I've been cutting it out with different punches and things, but uh, uh, I'm, uh, it, it's time for it to move. It's, it's been there for a little while. I feel like I've used it for a lot of other things. I'm going to use it for this today. So, yes, it's just paper. And that's what I'm going for is paper scraps. So what is on your art desk or your table or what is the project that you're working on? Maybe you're gathering supplies for it. Now, I know that some of you heard me say that I'm not nuts about the Uhu glue stick. I haven't been nuts about it and I have a lot of it because it comes so highly praised. But one of the people that I watch, Gail Acostinelli, Augusta, Augustinelli, and then also Carrie the Crafter mentioned, you need to be a little heavy handed. And, you know, I may not have been. I can't say for sure. I can't say that it, I, I, I know it wasn't in the front of my mind saying to myself, go heavy. So I'm giving her another try. <clears throat> When I'm done with this, I may want to, that look at that, Mary's right up. I may want to go ahead with some uh, gesso on top, especially if it's just a little too wild and a little too chaotic. We'll see. I don't get, uh, I don't, I don't try to have a whole plan out at once because if I can't do it, then I feel disappointed or like I let myself down. I haven't let myself down. I'm enjoying myself. So I realize I haven't been around as much again. And I just am afraid you're sick of hearing it. But I was sick again. Urgent care, the works. Not urgent care because I felt like I needed something done like an emergency room. Because that, that wasn't the case. But when you can't see your own doctor, but you don't need you know, an emergency room. The emergency room has things like radiology at the ready, surgical suites at the ready, respiratory therapists at the ready. Your labs are done within a matter of literally minutes. I, I didn't need that kind of, uh, that, that kind of care all wrapped around me. An urgent care is really kind of like a walk-in doctor office. You, I, well, I personally, you know, that, that's how I see it. That's how I utilize their services is uh, my doctor's not available, but I know that this should be addressed. So I'm going to the urgent care. And uh, so, yeah, I'm being treated. Everything's okay. Um, I mean, something's wrong. Nobody knows. I uh, just have to wait it out. I'll be all right. Just... Not as all right as I wish I was right at the moment, but hey, at my age, when you wake up in the morning, you throw your eyes open and you say, thank God, another day. So I am not complaining. The most flimsy of papers that I have in all of this is the uh, coffee filters. Coffee filters are stronger than you might think. They kind of feel like tissue paper, but they can handle glue stick directly. You can just grab your glue stick and rub it all over it and it doesn't just rip and tear. 
and uh, after you're done using glue stick on it, you can still hold it in your hand and you can still manipulate it without it just tearing. So it, it's it kind of looks like tissue paper, but it isn't. But I cannot, and I've seen people do it, and they do a great job. I've tried. I can't. I can't make tissue paper work for me when I am just using glue stick. I need to use gel medium or even a watered down PVA, something like that, something I can brush on gently. I don't even know what that is, but it kind of has the edge like, um, like it was some kind of a bag. This has a square, so maybe I'll pop that in this corner. Oh, the other side's pretty too. I can't see. So, I guess I've just been AWOL because I honestly have been sick. But, as I say, I'm better. Not 100%, but maybe I never will be. We'll just have to see. But we can do this. I'm a happy girl. Now, here's the same one I just used, but it's the other side of it, and I love it. It's got a nice straight edge, but it's white, so I'm taking it off. Another straight edge, I can put that right there. Yep. So what am I going to do with this when I'm done? Well, as I say, once I'm done and it's dry and I have a minute to let it settle and kind of settle in my mind, I'll take a look at it. If it's a little too chaotic or wild, then I may just put a real light coat of white gesso to just kind of calm it all down because I am going to use this as a background, not a foreground. However got this strange piece that I'm going to grab. I think I've used, I know that I've used it like paper, but look, when I was in my scrap thing, I could see it was kind of separating. Kind of like a weird washi tape. It's very squared off. I don't care. I'm going to put it right here. There. Hope it sticks. Might not. If it starts to come up, I'll just hit it with some other kind of a glue. So far, so good. <laughs> All right. Let's get some of this. Mm -hmm. Just trying it here, there, and everywhere. Don't know. I mean, I like it. It's going to go somewhere. I think it's going to go here. So then, either, like I said, I'm going to put some gesso on it, or I will leave it as is. And then, what I plan to do is, I, because of swaps, because of correspondence, because of thank you notes that I've needed to send out, Tags and artist trading cards are low. I th honestly think I'm out of artist trading cards. I've got some in the making, but they're not done. So I definitely need to take a look at that. I pulled this out. It is just a round punch with words on this side and white or kind of a cream color. And I thought, well, you know, just to, like this is, you know, like a shape. Just to slap a shape in there, here and there, might be kind of cool. So I saved it. I know that I've had this, this one piece of shape in my scrap container for over a year. So it's time to move. I, I have to keep 
things moving. And frankly, I want to. I mean, if I have it that long and I haven't used it, what's wrong? What's wrong with me or what's wrong with it? So I just thought, yeah, a couple of shapes won't, won't matter. That's my, I'm picking up some colors. Some of these might have some water soluble and it's starting to lift off of things with my gluey fingers. And now it's depositing here and there. <laughs> if I take a little wet, uh, paper towel on that in a little while that'll lift I'm not I'm not gonna fuss with it right now okay let's get some paper that maybe we haven't used yet is there such a thing sure there is there's got to be oh this is the atomic one I know I used part of it but it does have a different look and that can go up in that corner so let's do that So several of you told me that you use the Uhu glue stick and it works great for you. And some of you have said you used to use it. It didn't work at all and you don't use it anymore. So again, I'm trying the heavy, being more heavy handed because I, I would love it to work. It's very handy. Um, I'm also realizing too it could be the humidity or other factors like that that make it work better in some areas of the world and not so great in others. So there's that to consider, isn't there? Okay. Got a spot there. I just feel like I'm grabbing the same four pieces of paper. I need to be just a little more creative. There we go. Okay, let's get this on here. Now, I know you may be saying you're doing an awful lot with artist trading cards. I think sometimes these things sort of go in, in, in seasons. You know, I mean, it's like, that's what I need now. And then when I get that stash full, then maybe I can start working on some ephemera and some decorating of things for some journals that I've got in the works. But I just haven't really felt like I should be working on journals when correspondence and I know I've got more swaps coming up. I'll stick that there. Um, and, and I'm going to need those things. I saw someone, well, more than one person They've got their artist trading cards in what looks to me like we have a cheese here in the United States called Velveeta. It's kind of a, a processed product and it's really kind of designed as a very mild cheddar, a very soft cheese and you can uh, melt it easily and but it comes in a long narrow box and they've got that thing chuck full of things that they've got ready to go. I don't have anything like that. I think it's a great idea, but I just, I don't have a container like that. Just chock a block full of artist trading cards waiting for a home. I may have like a sandwich bag of them somewhere and it goes fast. That's just a piece of music note paper that I had sprayed with some, oh, this is cool. I had sprayed with some spray inks. This has sparkles on it. Cool. Let's give that one some, some love and a home.
Now, will I get both of these done? I don't know. Do I have enough scraps for both? Again, not sure. I think so. Um, it's in, in some of that's going to depend on how choosy I am. I'm going to flip. I'm flipping this over just to see what else I have. This isn't really a scrap, but it's kind of a, like a marbled paper. This I know came from Lynn. It feels like magazine paper. It may be one of those magazine sheets and you treat it with something. I'm not exactly sure what. And it, uh, it kind of melts all the inks and it gives you these interesting and fascinating patterns. I've never tried it, but I, I've, I, the only person I ever saw do it is Froyle. She's a, I think she's in New Zealand, but she does a weekly collage that is to die for. But she has, she, she doesn't do a collage of time. She's been doing um, a collage every day for a hundred days. And in the middle of it all, she moved household. So bless her heart. But yeah, she, uh, she did this, this uh, technique. And it, it looks pretty cool. I've got just a tiny little space there. That's what happens more often when you're using little weird shapes where you're not just using squares and rectangles. You end up with sometimes these little pockets. But that's okay. My scraps don't always lend themselves to being squares or rectangles. Okay, we're getting there. We are definitely getting there. Maybe another piece of this. This is from one of my gel prints. And what I had done, it's um, magazine transfer, but I tore the subject out of it and used it in a collage in my art journal. So this was the part that was left. Nice saved. People want to know what you do with your magazine transfers and also with your jelly plate prints. Lots of things. Lots of things. The same things you can do with scrapbook paper. I mean, you can make envelopes. You can do collage. You can make uh, greeting cards. You can just, the, there's nothing you can't do. So it's all going to depend on the size that you have. What about this? I think that could go right up there. And I'm just going to tear the one little tip off and leave the other two lines straight. They'll be fine. That's a piece of scrapbook paper. Not always common to find. Scrapbook that's more like cardstock. I seem to have plenty of that, but scrapbook paper that's actually paperweight, not so much. I don't own a printer, so I don't have leftover digis. That's me pressing my garbage down. <laughs> Somebody cut this with some decorative scissors. So I'm just going to put the smooth edge along the edge. And I think that looks cool there. All right, I've got this space, this space, this space. Well, I definitely think I have enough scraps to do this. And probably another one. That's right up against that, and it's the same. Let's put it up here. I think that will be good. My, my glue book is getting further and further away. I'm going to be 
right off of my desk in a minute if I'm not careful. So we had massive snow over the weekend, like, like seven inches. We had a lot. But uh, today's Monday. Uh, today's the first day of spring. Today is Monday, and we've had quite a bit of melting on Sunday, but a whole lot more today. Sunday was a, was a good melt day, though. It sure was. So as typical of spring, the lake, where I have all the, the geese that I get to watch and ducks. It's not frozen, frankly. I don't know that it ever really froze. I really don't think it did. Not this year. Um, in spite of the fact that we had literally record amounts of snow. They said we had more snow in Grand Rapids, which is where I live, Grand Rapids, Michigan. We had more snow than any other recorded winter wasn't it wasn't more by a lot, you know, it wasn't like a foot more, but all of the snowstorms the snow went away pretty quick. I would say the storm we had at Christmas over the Christmas holiday time was probably the longest lasting where the roads took a couple of days to get over it. You know, that kind of thing. See, that's that. See how that happens? Here. That's that and that. I've used as much of this as I want. Let's use some more of the magazine paper. I think that's what this is. I could, although both, I was going to say I could use the other side, but both sides have pretty much the same coloration. The patterns are just a little bit different from one side to the other. Okay. This may look like I didn't do it, but that's got that gold just like here. All right. We can get one more. I'm not worried about like getting in threes and balancing color, or all of that kind of stuff. Not that it's not important, but again, this is all going to be cut up. So what's over here isn't going to relate to what's over here. I just am trying not to have a joining the same. Sometimes that just looks like you didn't even try. <laughs> Hey, here's a color. This is an envelope that I had thrown in the scrap box. Let's use some of this. Mm hmm Okay, I knew it wouldn't be wide enough for that. Kind of big for there. Oh. Let's just use it. I am telling myself, go heavy with the glue. I like that. Okay, one more. I'm going to use that other piece of envelope that I just tore off. I'm going to put it right here. I realize it's kind of close, but... Uh, It'll be all right. And one more piece. Let's see. I don't know. Is it necessary for it to be so close? Not nuts about that straight edge and it's already so small. Maybe I can go over here. Pull off some of this weight that was pulled up on the jelly print. What about that? Yeah. Okay. Now, when I'm looking at it right now, 
It looks very full, very chaotic, but I'm just going to let it rest. Let my eyes rest, let it rest, and then we can see. I don't have too much over the top that I need to cut off, but I think this is going to turn into some really cool artist trading cards that are going to get decorated or some uh, tags. Maybe a journal card. We'll see. All right. Do we have time maybe just to get a start on the other one? We can try, right? And I'm purposely doing these in the landscape mode. Nine times out of ten, I do them in the portrait, this orientation. And I thought, well, this might give my work a whole new look, right? Okay, see, this is coming up because it's an envelope. I think what I'm going to do is just hit this with some hmm, art glitter glue. There we go. Stick it on the glue board here. Get some of this. And just give it a good press. All right. That ought to do something. And now I'm going to glue it down. And I'm going away from my normal of doing edges and corners first. And I'm heading this, putting a smack dab in the middle. We'll just see, see if I am happy I did that or if I regret it. <laughs> but I do like it. I really do. This, again, was one of those things, a piece of junk mail that I tore up and just used in the shoebox. Gave it some sprays and some splatters and what have you. Oh, we got a nice straight edge on this one. So let's utilize that. So what is the next thing you're planning on? We just finished St. Patrick's Day. Um, I don't normally do a lot. I mean, I don't, I don't run around sending cards. I don't send flowers. I mean, it just, when you have kids, now my grandson, they had some special activities and uh, where I work, they had some special activities for the St. Patrick's Day. My city doesn't do as much for it as other cities I've lived in, or at least I didn't hear about it on the news or anything. It didn't pop up. All your favorite places to get corned beef. That was the other thing. In the grocery store. I didn't see bunches of corned beef, cabbage, and potatoes for you to buy. They usually have a, a specific setup place with all that put together. Mm -mm. No, I did not see that. Not this year. So I haven't been to the store recently to see if they even had some of that stuff on sale. <laughs> all right, let's tear this corner. We can put that down here. Hmm, this is like a half page. Hmm, let's get rid of it. I can hear the wind. The wind has definitely picked up. And I can see it ripple across the little, well, they call it a lake, I call it a pond. So it's good size. It's, it, I mean, if you had one of those little sun fin kind of boats or whatever, you could float it around out there. I don't think they want people to do that. I've never seen anyone do it, but you sure could. Sure. All right. This has a lot of the edges that I don't want. So I'm going to end up pulling this off. made that awfully small but let's get rid of it all 
they left a weird edge there. That's all right. That is just white. We can move that along. All right. Digging in the pouch again. Looking for some different stuff. Oh, so this is, again, scrapbook paper, not scrapbook cardstock. So I can put some of that in here. Maybe like that. Let's give it a go. So do you have dinner on the stove or in the crock pot? Are you getting ready to... I don't even remember how I had this. Maybe like this. Do you have something planned for your next meal? What's going on? Maybe you've decided to go out tonight. Good for you. Have a good time. I haven't been out to eat in, wow. Let's think about this. August? Yeah. Not big on going out to eat by myself and just haven't, you know, I, I haven't made the friends like I had on the east side of town yet. There's still kind of the COVID thing going on. Not a lot, but, but a little bit. But, but more than that, it's just the medicines that I'm taking right Well, got stopped. Thank heavens. It makes me more susceptible to catching things. So I'm just not testing the waters that way. I'm just keeping a little more close to home. I know these are two of the same close together, but they're such a different shape. I think they look cool. Okay. Can definitely use another piece of this. And put it in a corner. I can tell you with the heavy handedness, I'm going through glue paper a lot more. Sure am. Okay, I want it this way. I want to put it in the opposite corner of the one that I already have, just so. Although, really, I can't imagine both corners going on the same piece. So, I guess that's really not as necessary as it felt when I made the decision. All right more I've still got more of this gold put some of this on this is a corner oh, there there so in the United States, I know that there are massive parts, I would say from North Carolina all the way down to Florida, that, that whole kind of zone, it's going to be spring. I mean, it is spring. I know my sister who lives in Atlanta, Georgia, forsythias are done, daffodils are done. I think she said the tulips are, are out. So... I know she's looking at planting a few little annuals, but she, she has quite the garden of perennials, which is nice. Um, there was something that she mentioned that she didn't realize grew there. Now, what was it? I know she was just, she, I, don't, I think maybe she saw one when she was driving. Now, what, oh, wisteria. That's what it was. And I guess there it's it's almost invasive. And I I remember I knew that wisteria kind of draped over things and 
There's a Sherlock Holmes story called Wisteria Lodge. But never was quite sure what it is. But my sister saw some and mentioned it to a, a fellow Atlanta, Georgia person. And they said, yeah, we have it, but it's very invasive. You have to be really careful and stay on top of it or it'll take over. I guess it'll climb all over a tree and just kill it. Um, so I don't know much about it. If we had it in Ohio, I wasn't aware of it. Okay, I'm looking at this. Let's do another piece of this. It feels like I've used more of the kind of neutral tones on this one with the leaf pattern paper and that gold paper and the, what I think is a where a magazine has had chemicals put on it and then it 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 bleeds all of its ink all over and creates a beautiful pattern. But all of these fall, like, see to me, neutral, 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 neutral. So do I have more color left? I would think. Let's see. I know I've got some right on this thing. Let's see. What if I just kind of tore out... this little spray ink blob. Let's get that on here somewhere. I was gonna say I just created a little small spot. Let's fill it right away so it doesn't feel like it's a burden. It's a pretty color. Kind of an olivey green or a khaki green, I like it. I have more of this paper, which again, neutrally. Now this I know is my own. This and it kind of goes with that um, coffee uh, filter again. But this one must have been at the bottom of the shoebox because it didn't really catch a whole lot. But hey, it's enough. Let's get it on here. How am I doing on this thing for? spaces. Oh, right here. What side do I like better? We'll ink up this, or glue up this side. I don't know what I'm going to cook for dinner tonight. I've been eating a lot of chicken soup and I'm tired of that. I made a few sandwiches because they're simple. I don't know. I just don't know what I want. That must mean I'm not very hungry. But it also means I'm not planning very much ahead. So if it's something I got to pull out of the freezer, I should be doing that now. I, I pulled this. It's not really the same. This definitely has a, a printy pattern to it. And I just thought, well, you know, maybe it would be kind of cool. I don't know. Too, uh, too specific. Everything else is kind of abstracty. So let's, let's pull it out. Hey, hey, hey. Now see, that is envelope again. Oh, what do you think? a tiny little spot there but let's do it oh from the secretary of state <laughs> it's probably my license renewal for my car it is so nice we can do that online and we don't have to go to the secretary of state office in Arizona, we always had to go make an appointment, get your car through an emission test, hope you pass that. If you don't, 
get your car fixed so you do pass it. Then go to the Secretary of State. I mean, it was like taking two days off of work. It was crazy. Yeah, hear me raise my voice. I just always felt like that was just a bit much to expect someone to take a couple days off of work to get their license. And here, I mean, it's not the license. It's, it's your uh, tags for your car. But here, you just go online, fill out the credit card information, confirm the name and address and all that business, and uh, you're set. And that's the way it should be. That's my opinion. I realize it. But I guess it's a strong one, huh? <laughs> okay, this is board, not paper. So I'm not going to that. Same with that. Oh, for heaven's sakes, I got so excited and only can use one. All right, this has got just a little bit of color. But I had looked when I had, and I thought, well, there's a spot you got to remember. Oh. I already forgot. Where is it? Hmm. Well, we'll save that. Because this is like some little, some little spot that needed some color. All right. What more do I have in here? Here's some advertisement. Wouldn't mind a little bit of this on. So I was talking about spring. Are you are you planting? Are you doing stuff? I have a little holder that you put one of those little hanging baskets of annuals in, like your little petunias or maybe some impatiens, something that, you know, depending on if you've got sun or shade or however it, it goes. And uh, so I... Let's put some of this here. So I will be buying one of those. Now, last year, we had we had literally winter weather almost up to the end of May. And those things were not out until sometime in June. And then they were so expensive. At least for me, they were expensive that I, I didn't do it. I have a, a beautiful wooden bird house that it's not really designed for birds to live in. It's designed as a decorative that my son, my son's mother-in-law made for me. And it's beautiful. So I hung that in there. Didn't have a plant. So I hope I can have a plant this year. But, you know, it can't cost half a day's pay. That's for sure. Okay, so we got a couple of those on there. I like that. Here's another piece of this. I'm just going to take away the most whitest of the white parts. I think that'll look fine. Oh, the other side is even better. It's got some sparkly. Okay, let's do that. I don't like to have too many plants on my balcony. For one thing, my balcony is not that big and I've got two chairs out there. And it's nice to sit out there with family or friends and have some coffee and chit chat. And so I don't want them to do that with a plant bumping their knees, you know. So I don't want it too crowded out there. Well, there's a little piece that it's just going to have to wait till I cut this. And then if it pops up, I'll do something. All right. Remember I said I've got this. That's covered. Is there a little spot here, here, or here? Hmm. 
Let's get this guy down. He's too pretty to be waiting in the wings. This could use some color. There we go. Nice. Okay. I don't see anything else but this. Let's get a move on. Ha ha. Found some more of this. This feels like what you would buy years ago to put in your printer and it was supposed to be like resume paper. Does anyone send a resume anywhere anymore or is it all just email? I think it's email. Here in Michigan, you can do so much online. There's just, you don't have all the forms and things like I had in other states that I've lived in to get my nurse nursing license renewed. I can do that online to get my driver's license renewed. You can do that online every other time. So that's like every um, eight years. It, your driver's license expires every four, but you can do one uh, online and then you can do one where you have to go in and then you can go online and then you can go in. Now, if they make you test, like do a driving test, I'm not aware of it. In Arizona, I believe at 65 and then something like every four or five years after that, you had to uh, take a driver's test. And that was just because seniors uh, and, you know, am I a senior citizen? Yes, I am. Um, they were driving into restaurants and banks and all that kind of stuff. And so they just upped it where they have to, when you were over 65, it was like every four or five years, you had to go and take a bit of a driving test, like like an on the road test. Uh, I believe they also had some of the written tests there. And then they had where you where you had to uh-oh, that's too much the same, isn't it? Well, that's, these are all too much. Well, let's see. I was going to say, can I just use the white? No. Can I just use the purple? No, it's all there. All right, too close together. Got to be something else. I'm so close. This is more of that white. I'm telling you, folks. I really don't save a whole lot of scraps. Maybe not as much as I should, but again, storage. You still seem to make plenty. Well, maybe not, huh? Am I, am I here moaning and groaning that I don't have enough colors? Make up your mind, Julie. Confusing the people. All right, I think this is going to call it quits. So what goes on next? Well, first of all, thank you for watching this video all the way this far. It means a lot to me. And since you're here, would you please consider liking and subscribing? Because that helps me so much. Here is the other one. Does it look different? Can you kind of get a glimpse of both of them? I need subscribers desperately. So please consider subscribing to my channel. Share it with your friends. I look forward to seeing you in another video. Bye now.